If you are an active duty service member ready to transition out of the military, a loving spouse seeking support and resources on how to cope with PTSD, or maybe a military brat ready to take the next steps to join the Air Force, or a veteran wanting to connect with others through shared experiences, then this is the right podcast for you. My name is Laura Figures, and this is the Freedom Isn't Free podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. I am your host, Laura Figures. First, thank you for joining me each and every single week as we continue to bring you inspiring stories or resources that address Is Freedom Free? Every May, we celebrate National Military Appreciation Month. It is a declaration that encourages U.S. citizens to observe the month as a symbol of unity. National Military Appreciation Month honors current and former members of the United States Armed Forces, including those who have died in the pursuit of freedom. Remembering, honoring, and supporting our veterans. May is characterized by several national observances highlighting the contributions of those who have served to include military spouses and children. Today in particular, I wanted to discuss National Military Spouse Appreciation Day, which is a presidential approved holiday and is celebrated on the Friday before Mother's Day in May, which happens to be tomorrow. On Military Spouse Appreciation Day, we honor the contributions and sacrifices made by military spouses. Their commitment and support help keep our country safe. America's military spouses, they're the backbones of the families who support our troops during missions, deployments, reintegrations, and resetting. Military spouses, they are the silent heroes who are essential to the strength of the nation, and they serve our country just like their loved ones. A local story of a gold star family pulled on my heartstrings. Just to add a little bit of background about gold star families, America's gold star family is basically a nonprofit that created that was created to provide honor, hope, and healing to those grieving any military loss through active duty service. They include all family members representing all conflicts, all branches of service, and all circumstances of death. America's Gold Star Families honors fallen heroes who have served in the armed forces and cares for their survivors through programs and services at no cost to the survivors. Now, this Gold Star family shared about their sacrifice felt by so many other families. Every day, Patty Steubenhofer and her three kids are reminded that they are not the same people they were before. Her husband, Army Captain Mark Steubenhofer, was killed while serving in Iraq in December of 2004. She reflects that he wasn't a soldier, but her best friend. Pretty much from the moment they started dating, they did, they did uh, basically everything together. The couple met during their senior year of college at Clemson University and got married on October 11th, 1997. Captain Steubenhofer's military career took them to Fort Richardson in Alaska, where Patty gave birth to their first child, a little girl named Lauren. Now, after that, the family moved to Fort Benning in Georgia, followed by Fort Riley in Kansas. Now, at Fort Riley, Captain Steubenhofer deployed three times in four years. Patty described her son, Justin, being born in March. Her husband deployed to Kuwait in April. Then he would come home for about four months, then deployed to Iraq in 2003, then came home for about 10 months, then deployed again to Iraq. But this third deployment, 
came just weeks before Patty was due to give birth to their third child, and she was eight months pregnant. He left June 16th of 2004, and the baby, another little girl, was born on July 28th, 2004. The couple chose to call the baby Hope, a word and a name that would soon carry new meaning to the family because, unfortunately, her husband was killed December 7th, 2004, so he never made it home to see his baby girl. Now, Patty reflected on the devastating day when she learned her husband had been killed by a sniper in Iraq. She said, I remember that Hope woke up in the middle of the night. She wasn't crying or anything. She kind of woke up and was playing, so I brought her into the bed with me. I remember not wanting to get up in the morning. I just brought all the kids in the bed with me. Nine o'clock rolled around and the doorbell rang. My first instinct was I needed to get ready because I was a family group leader. Saying she initially thought someone was knocking on her door because they needed her help to notify another family, another family, then she understood that's not how it really works. She soon realized the army was knocking on the door to tell her it was her husband who wouldn't be coming home. Patty remembered a neighbor came to help her watch her kids. Her eldest, Lauren, was five at the time. Her son, Justin, was two. And the baby Hope was just four months old when she lost the dad she never got to meet. She found out the time that Hope had woken up was the time that her husband had passed away. That is so surreal for me. He basically came to visit his baby girl. Patty's three kids are now 16, 19, and 21. She expressed how proud she was of them and how amazing they are. They've come so far through hardships, through their childhood. Patty and her children make frequent visits to Captain Steubenhofer's grave at Arlington National Cemetery. Patty has worked hard to make sure her children know exactly who their dad was, a hero who died serving this country and a family man who loved them more than anything. Inside their home, military memorabilia hang on the wall alongside photos of their their father gone too soon. Patty described him as someone who was loved, who loved life, who talked, who laughed, who was funny. And when the children were born, He just wanted to do everything for them and so that they could have the best life ever. Over the years, Patty and her children have found support in the Arlington-based nonprofit organization known as TAPS, Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors. Now, this mission is to provide comfort and care to families of fallen military heroes through a national peer support network and connect to grief resources. This organization introduced them to other Gold Star families, and those relationships have been an incredible source of comfort for this family. As for how she thinks others can help support for Gold Star and military families who have sacrificed so much, Patty shared this advice. I would probably say the biggest thing is if anyone is watching this, if you know someone, don't wait for them to ask for help. Just go over and be like, hey, what you doing? Everyone knows me as a widow and I do it on my own. And they see that and I do it on my own so that they assume I don't need anything, but I have moments. We just learn to push forward. This month, turn your admiration into action by doing a good deed that makes a difference by being the difference. The military women who have served or are serving in the United States Armed Forces. And with that being said, Blue Star families and Operational Gratitude have joined forces to impact thousands of families. They need veteran community to support this nationwide campaign in three actionable ways. 
And all three can be done from the comfort of your home. So the first one, you got to give back, pay it forward, and write a handwritten letter of appreciation. Operation Gratitude will include your cards, letters, and care packages that they send to deployed troops and hand deliver to military families in partnership with the Blue Star families in the coming weeks. Second actionable way is to connect, find support, and build enduring relationships via the Blue Star Families Caregiver Program. Active duty and veteran caregivers are encouraged to visit Blue Star Families Online Resource Center to access caregiving toolkits and register to attend virtual Coffee Connect events and caregiver cohort workshops. And lastly, be a voice for change. Take the 12th Annual Military Family Lifestyle Survey and share your experiences and stories so they can continue to assess the needs of the veterans, active duty service members, and their families. If you are interested in learning about Blue Star Families and Operations Partnership efforts, please visit bluestarfam.org. That's B-L-U-E-S-T-A-R-F-A-M dot org, bluestarfam dot org. For those of you that are listening, as always, don't forget to thank a veteran for their service. I love hearing from you, my listeners, military heroes, veterans, spouses. Message me your stories and let your voice be heard. And while you're doing that, go inside the podcast app. Leave a five-star review and a five-star rating. This helps us reach more people. And if you want to be a part of this mission by helping us provide a voice for our service members, then make sure you subscribe. It makes a difference by leaving a review. And remember to thank a veteran.